Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a great day. I have several requests for several videos and today we're gonna do the request I got for glazing medium. Now, glazing medium comes in, this is what I use, Liquitex glazing medium. However, I use different things. Now you've seen me use iridescent medium. So what iridescent medium is, is glazing medium with little sparkles in it. So just to give you a general idea, when you use glazing medium, as you can see, I used it here, you can see underneath. It makes the paint, which this is uh, Liquitex Basics, just regular, you know, acrylic paint. You can use folk art, whatever you have. And you see how it makes it clear. I used it on here over, you know, this that I had done prior in, in a prior video. This over here is dilution spray. This over here is acrylic paint spray that I had made and some fluorescence that I had bought. But you can see how when I go over it with the glazing medium mixed with the purple, that you can still see the underneath, which is fantastic for mixed media art or any kind of art that you do. Um, even when you're using clay and you go to bake it or you use paper, you know, uh, paper clay, that air dry clay or whatever, and you want to give it a color, like, like almost like a ceramic look to it, this is a great technique. Now, what I'm going to do, because um, I like to experiment and find ways because there are people, I get a lot of comments from people who are in different countries. A lot of people who cannot afford, I mean, I use, I bought this, I buy glazing medium. It's the small bottle. I use a coupon. Um, it's probably a little less than half left. Um, I like to, if I'm doing a painting, um, I like to use, you know, that I'm going to sell. Um, I like to use regular um, Liquitex or Golden or something to that effect. Um, sometimes, sometimes I don't have it on hand. So it's nice to, I love showing you guys, as you know, different ways to do this and get this technique without having to go spend $12 on a bottle of glazing medium that, you know, that some of us just can't afford. As I've told you before, I'm on SSI. I'm very blessed. I get health insurance. I'm, I'm disabled. I'm on disability, but I don't get a lot of money for SSI. Because in New Jersey, they take my husband's pay into consideration, which, you know, he works from home. He's a freelance writer. And, you know, so they give me, you know, I'm blessed for whatever I get, but it's not a lot. So my days of going and buying Liquitex and Golden have really dwindled to nothing. And so I have to find my own ways to do it. And why not share so everybody can do it? Um, if you're blessed enough to be able to go and buy um, the good stuff, then more power to you. But I don't see, you know for this kind of thing I really don't think you need to so let's get started and I'm enough I'm enough of talking okay so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna rip out some books that I bought from the dollar store for a dollar you can go buy books to get text for a dollar at the dollar store <laughs> so here's what we're gonna start I'm gonna bring you down a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing and we're gonna do some experimenting today. Doesn't matter what the book, what the page is about, it's just us getting on camera. Okay, so first what we're gonna use is we're gonna use this as our mixing for what we're gonna mix with. I'm gonna put a dot of my basics. I'm using purple so you guys can see it. Um, like I said, this is basics. You can use your uh, folk art, your, um, Oh, somebody has, uh, let's see, Michaels has their polymer clay on sale. So if you're into polymer clay, go get, their, it's on sale till Saturday. So go check that out. I think AC Moore has their, um, la, 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 their, uh, what's their craft, their craft brand of um, these paints. They're, they have a craft brand and I just can't think of the name right now. Um, but this, you know, the small craft paints, they have those on sale. And Michaels also has Artist Loft 
all theirs on sale, two fifty a piece, two for five dollars. These I happen to pick up with a fluorescence, but they have every single color. So you can see, I mean, this is basics. This is, I mean, and it works just as well. And it's the same. Um, is it the same amount? I don't know what one hundred. It's like two milliliters uh, more than you get with Liquitex basics. So if you're just starting out painting, you know, my technique, Roy G. Biv, go buy them, get them. You know what I mean? So you can mix Roy G. Biv black and white and you have your nice supply or pick up two colors that you like for $5 or say, I'm going to, I'm going to spend 10 and pick up, you know, whatever. But these artist lofts are on sale, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, at Michael's until Saturday, two for $5. I think that's all I know. That's, oh, and the sponge brushes, which are, I have tons of, and I'm going to buy more. I buy big and little, but the regular size sponge brushes, you know, these ones, 10 for a dollar. I pick them up all the time because these are great when you're doing things. Gluing, and I am so cheap that I rinse them out. None of that makes me cheap, but I rinse them out and um, let them dry and reuse them because that's just how I roll. Now, here we go. Okay, first I'm going to use Collage Podge. Now, this is Collage Podge Glossy. Now, you can use Mod Podge Glossy. Um, in, in, you know, for this also, but we are going to use, and I'm just going to drip some in there. And like I said, this is glossy. Now, do I have a little stir thing I can use? Uh, I'm going to whine as if my husband's here to like fix me. Usually he yells at me, quit whining, but I like to whine. Okay. Usually I would just mix it with my brush, but I'm just going to mix it with this because then I don't have to keep rinsing my brush as much. So you see, I'm just mixing, 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 squishing, mixing, and then I'm going to scrape it and we're mixing. Now you want to test it before you put it on your paper. Be my guest. Let's see. Maybe we need a little bit more. Maybe we don't. Let's try right here. I'm going to move this down and down and here we go and up here and I'm just going to take it over. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Now this will dry glossy, which means you won't have to seal it. And you see how you see through the paper. I mean, like, so you can see the text. Look how awesome. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to spread it out on here because we see that's the regular one and let's just spread it out on here. So you can see when it dries what it's like compared to using. Now I'm just using regular cardstock and as you can tell when I put my paint down you can see right here that's where I put the glossy medium. And over here, you could see where I put the paint on here. Wait, where am I? You know when I'm, I get on the camera, right here. I squirted my paint on here. Because this is cardstock, it sucks it in. I didn't gesso this. So be aware, don't do this. Um, like make sure you mix one off on the side because wherever you set your, um, wherever you set your glue, I mean, yeah, your uh, mixture or your paint, it's going to suck in on your cardstock. If you're using, you know, mixed media paper or watercolor paper or something like that, it won't. But this is so absorbent, but it's easiest to show you on there. So mix it somewhere else. So now you see we have, we have our glazing medium and we have our Mod Podge with our paint. And like I said, now, if you say, oh, this might be a little, you know, you can take your rag, you can add it, prints in it if you want, as well as you can with your glazing medium, or you can just leave it the way it is. And I'm just going to scrape the rest of this off on here. And you can scrape it, look how fun, and make it have texture. So you see where we're at on that. Because I just like to experiment and play. So that is a glossy Mod Podge. Okay, so I'm going to move my camera back up. I'm going to put paper this way, and here again, it is on paper. So remember, whatever you put this over, 
you're going to be able to see right through. You're glazing, child. You're glazing. And that's very exciting because with any kind of paint, mixed media, if you make things, if you want to glaze over a piece of polymer clay or whatever, this is a glossy collage podge. You would get the same effect if you used a glossy Mod Podge. Okay? So, on to the next one, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, so next I'm going to use dun, 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 regular matte medium Mod Podge. And I'll mix it over here. I'm just going to put a little squirt. I'm just going to show you a little squirt of it right there. A little squirt of my purple. I'm going to mix it up. Now I added a little bit less paint in this one than I did the other. But you can add more, obviously. You can add less. It's, you know, you're playing. Play. You know, I say play, play, play. And experiment to what you want. Sometimes you might want it deeper and darker. Sometimes you might want it even lighter than what we have. But like I said, um, like when you see this paper, I mean, look, look how cool that is. You can see everything you do. So when you're doing mixed media, matter of fact, I'm doing another video in a bit um, that I'm going to, thanks to my friend Liz, I'm going to do this on that. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Okay. So this is with regular... Matte Medium Mod Podge. Not glossy, it's just regular. And you can see, whoops, it's a little bit darker than the top one that was um, gloss, but you still get a great effect. And you know, if you wanna go on a little less, that's fine. Let's put it on here and see how it competes with. You're still getting a nice glaze, so. But it is a little bit more, uh, a little bit thicker. You might wanna add a little bit more Mod Podge to it. So it's uh, a little bit thinner, you know, you could see through it. In fact, let me just put a little bit. Let's see if that changes. And it does. If you add a little bit more, it will make it lighter. But this is matte. I'm going to put it on here so you can see the difference. Yeah. If you add a little bit more Mod Podge, it'll lighten it up definitely. So that's a plus. And I'll show you this. And you can tell right away. So, for the second, let me, hands are giving me a little bit issues today, so deal, please uh, be patient and understanding. Okay. So, so far we have, I'm going to wipe this up so we don't mix that in. We have our, um, what do we have? Our Collage Podge Glossy. We have our Mod Podge with only a little bit of regular Mod Podge, which is matte, matte medium, you know, like the matte. And when I added more of it to it, you get this lighter. So that's like a definite hit. Yeah, hello, fantastic, fun. So look at that. So this is your glossy, collage podge or Mod Podge. This is regular matte medium Mod Podge with more paint than Mod Podge. And this is it with more Mod Podge than paint. Matte medium. You know, a collage uh, matte. So look at that. Look how cool. Okay. We're moving on. Oh, I got stuff. Please. I got stuff. I'm going to make. We're going to do stuff. Trust me. Okay. So now we used our Collage Podge Glossy, which was the first one, which came out great. We used our regular Mod Podge matte. Awesome. Now, you know, I got to try me some glue. 
And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I rhymed. I rhymed. Okay. So here we got a little bit of, ooh, a little bit way too much glue. I get excited with the white glue. Good gods. The heck did I do there? I don't even have the energy to squeeze it back in. Let's pick a different color now. Let's pick. Hmm. Let's pick a, pick a fun pink. And let's do a drop of pink. I'm just going to do that little ploop there. Because who doesn't like a ploop? I'm going to mix this up. And this is glue, white glue. And then when I'm done doing all this, I'll show you them all again when they're dry, so you can see. And I just want to show you that I'm mixing it. Now, you can do this in your palette. I mean, you can do whatever. I just, you know, I like using my little um, thing here because I can scrape it all together, but it doesn't matter. And I'm going to use this just to kind of get the rest of that off. Set that there, take my brush, and let's brush it on. Now, this is also a little thicker. Now we know when the glue comes on, it goes on anything, it goes on white. So we won't really know the full effect of this until it's dry. Now, what I'm going to do with this is, and let me show you close. You can still see through it, but it's not as, um, you know, as clear as the other. But what I'm going to do is not add that because that is not what I want to add. Oh my God, where's my stuff? I would be like a freak. Like, I would be so awesome if I actually, like, clean things up. I just want to miss a water. I smell it to make sure. I'm going to add a little bit of water in there to thin it down. Because I always thin down my glue anyway. I use it for um, in place of Mod Podge or uh, Gel Medium. So let's water this down a little bit. and see what we get with that. Yep, looks good. That's what you wanna do. You wanna add a little water into it. Yep, loving it. Loving it, loving it. Completely different. Okay. Look at the difference. It's hard to see while it's wet, but when it's dry, You'll see. It's completely, it's like a light pink now. It looks fantastic. So, again, you can use it in your art journal. You can use it on your mixed media paintings. You can use it on jewelry. You can use it on uh, making journals. You can use it on whatever you want. You can see what's underneath, but you get a nice glaze. Now, let me, what, I keep putting it in my water, and I don't understand why when I'm still using the color. So let's take some of this and I'm going to put it on here. So we can see once it's dry. This is just straight on if you want it, you know, as a layer or you want it as something. So you can see how it dries. I'll tell you what, white school glue is like, and you can get it at the dollar store, you can get it anywhere. It is like, it does so much. It's so underrated. I only buy Elmer's only because that's, I don't know why. I just, when it's on the shelf, that's what I buy. I never like find any of the other ones on sale. And every time I go to the dollar store, I have, I know I have like the, my like tons of Elmer's glue at home. So I never buy it from there, but you can. It's same thing. But I love my Elmer's Extra Extreme um, glue stick. It's my favorite thing. I always have to have an extra in, you know, in my pocket so I have it. Now look. Nice glaze. So once that's dry, we're going to see. Now, what do you want? You say, oh, I got this extra left. What is one to do? What one to do is... 
pick up a piece of paper that you've been using as an extra something. Stick this down, squish it, squish it, squish it real good. Lift it up and then go on to the other side. See what else you can get up. And I got a majority of it up. This dries, I'm on to something else. How lucky can I be? That becomes getting to be a collage paper. Now, I take my wipe off my little scrapey thing that I should really soak. Anybody have any clue of what I can soak my brayer and all this to get the dry paint off with? Leave me a message. <laughs> and you can just spray some, oh, that's not water. That's my, oh my God, that's the paint I made the other day. <laughs> and I won't spray the water. And I told you I gotta fix clean this cause it ain't gonna spray no water either. What are you gonna do for me, anything? Uh, that must have some spray paint in there, too. <laughs> Organization is not... Oh, whoo, that was alcohol in there. Good gods in heaven. I should mark that. I should really mark that. I must use that when I do my paint. I'm going to do my alcohol, you know, and I water down my paint. Good gods. I need to mark that over. Okay, so we're just going to wipe up here and continue on. All right. So, very, um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, I promise. Okay. So now let's move on with one last thing I'm going to try. One last thing I'm going to try, then another thing I'm going to show you. And then I promise it'll be over. Please don't write me and say, quit making the video so long. I'm just trying to teach you guys stuff. You know. This is Glossy Accents. You can use a coupon at Michael's, AC Moore, Joann's, uh, Hobby Lobby, wherever. Love it. Love the stuff. It also comes in a crackle. So you can also do this with a crackle. But, um, no, I just lost train of thought. Let's do Pettywinkle. So I just got a little bit of it here. I'm just going to do the tiniest bit of this color here. Okay, and this is uh, light blue violet basics. And mix off my brush. Remember where I put my paper towels. Okay, gonna mix this. And if you wanna add a little bit more, do a little squirt. Little goes a long way. I love this stuff. I hope you're enjoying this, Liz. This is all for Liz today. We had a nice talk this morning. And I've had a rough morning, and she's just been my little. Uh, I've had a rough uh, <laughs> four years, but <laughs> not giving me a break. Okay. All right. Love it. This is Glossy Accents. Look how cool that glaze is. And if you look up here where it blended with the pink, you get a little bit of purple going on there. Let's run it right here. Like right between the pink and the... Yeah. You get this cool purple color. So what do y'all think about that? That's with glossy accents. You can't beat that. Now, let's put some on here. So you can see it, you know, in its regular form without anything underneath of it. I like putting glazing over. Now remember, you do not have to add color to these. The only thing I would advise you to do is to, if you're just going to use a plain, which I don't know why you would, but if, I mean, maybe there's a reason or like something I don't know, you know, 
of what is it because everybody's so creative in their own ways that maybe you know um but you know i would probably add a little bit of water like i said to the elmer's glue or to your mod podge or collage podge or your glossy accents you know just to make it a little bit more spreadable but i mean not you might not even need to but look how cool that looks and that is with glossy accents so very quickly before you guys are ready to kick me out and all the letters start coming. I'm going to pull me another page out. Okay. And we are going to do iridescent medium. And this is this. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. If I can open it. And if not, you're not going to see. Gonna do a little bit of that. Maybe because that iridescent medium isn't open. And then maybe just because it's glued shut. I don't know. Okay, not important right now, Kel. Okay. See, that's called obsessive compulsion. <laughs> a little bit of turquoise, just a little boop. A little boop. A little boop. Everywhere but where it was supposed to be. And we're going to mix that in. And I know I've shown this one before. But. Let's just do it. And this will add a little glitz. A little sparkle. Let's see. Can you see the sparkle in that? Yep. See it? There's a lot of sparkle, sparkle, sparkles. Really cool looking. That's a nice glaze. And if you don't have that, Mod Podge has Sparkle Mod Podge. So we're going to do us some Sparkle Mod Podge. And then I'm going to tell you what to do if you don't have Sparkle Mod Podge. So I got my Sparkle Mod Podge. I'm going to use an easier paint to pour out. I'm going to use a little boop of paint. A little bit too much. I'm going to mix it up. Might want a little bit more Mod Podge since the paint came out like a mad woman. Again, if you want to water this down, let's do this. We'll do half and I'll water the next one down. And then we're going to go over it with our Sparkle Mod Podge. And then I'm going to put some, uh, before I show you that, I'm going to put some of the sparkle Mod Podge on the paper so you can see it. And then some of the Iridescent medium on the regular paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to wet this down a little bit to thin it out more. Can you see how it's getting soupy? And then use it to see if we get a thinner consistency, which we, we do. Never hurts to add water. And I'm going to do it on my page too. So you can see the difference. Okay. 
Okay. And then a little bit more water on the green with the iridescent medium. And you can see how much lighter that is. So you get two You know, two different looks. You can have it thicker, darker, up like up here, or thicker or thinner rather. So let's go over. Now, if you don't have, if you don't have um, Sparkle Mod Podge, if you don't have um, iridescent medium, which I know a lot of people don't, all you have to do is get your glitter and mix it in. So, excuse me. I hate to make this any longer than it already is. Um, I'll do it in another video. However, all you have to do is take your paint, mix it with your Elmer's glue or whatever you're using, and take a little sprinkle of glitter, mix it in, and it'll do the same. Um, if you have mica powder, glitter, um, anything of that effect, you just mix it in and you're going to get the iridescent look to it. So um, that's something you can do also. So let's look real quick. This is the um, look that you get with the regular. Uh, what are we doing? I'm sorry. This is what we get when we look, when we use the glazing medium, the regular glazing medium. You see, you see the numbers underneath. There are the letters underneath, and you see the glaze on top. Now, I have two things here. So, you see we have... I'll move it back a little bit. You see we have it here. We have it here. Here. We have glazing medium here and here. And we used... Collage Podge Glossy, we used Mod Podge Matte, we've used Elmer's Glue, okay, we've used Glossy Accents, we've used, look at the glitter, I mean look at the sparkle, we've used Mod Podge Sparkle, Iridescent Medium, look at that, mixed with water, but it thins it out. Beautiful. And we have our papers. Here's our three different shades of purple. We have our first one, our second, and then we watered down the second one even more with the Elmer's glue. And look how nice and it came out. So you can use, I mean, you decide what you want. And then look at that. You can have it darker. Now you can see the letters still come through. You can make it lighter and lighter. I mean, how cool. And then we have this one. These are our glittery ones. And like I said, if you, you know, um, I don't think I have any glitter. Let's see, real quick. I know this is getting long and I know everybody I just, okay. Let's use some, since we're going to use blue, I guess we'll just use a silver. I'm just going to use a little bit of silver glitter. You just want the tiniest bit. Okay. Might as well show you while I'm done with it instead. I mean, what's another two minutes, right? Grab my brush. Dry off my brush. Okay. Now let me just mix this in. Got some glitter here too. Let's just mix this glitter in what we got here. Now, if it gets a little dry for you, add a little bit of water. Um, I'll just add a little bit there. Mix it all around. 
and let's paint it. And this was just glitter added to your, you know, Elmer's glue or whatever you, you know, you're using to make your glazing medium. And you add more or less glitter according to what you want. Now, none of this is gessoed. Remember that. So... Oh yeah, okay. Can you see all the glitter? I hope you can see it on here. It'll probably look better once it's dried, but. Can you see it all? I can, and I hope you guys can pick it up. That ain't gonna work that way. I hate when. Ugh. God, you pay so much for these damn cameras. Here, maybe you could see a little bit better that way. Yeah. So once it's dry, that'll be your sparkle in there. So you made your own iridescent medium. How fun. So again, these are great ways to... I'm just kind of picking up all this paint on here. These are great ways to use your, you know, use what you have at home. Oh yeah, you can really see it now. Like when it's out here, look. Look at that sparkle. So who you don't need to go buy your Dustin Medium. Make it with your own glitter. You know, you want to combine blue glitter with this? Use your blue glitter. If you want to use uh, ear, uh, like a uh, clear glitter, use that. Use silver. I use silver. I'm very thrilled. Look at it. Oh, it's kind of limpy because it's wet. But look at that. Look at that sparkle. So I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys try this because you don't have to go out and buy all the expensive stuff um, to get, you know, glazing medium. We've done, and like I said, I showed it on text because I wanted you to see it goes right through. I mean, you can see and still read it. It does you know, and you can do it to even lighter if you want it, like I showed you here. That's lighter, that's darker, that's even lighter. So it's just a matter of what you do with it, really, and how you want it. And this is just it on regular paper. You know, and you can play and test out what you like. So if you have a short amount of you know a short abundance of money which a lot of us do elmer's glue worked great um if you have glossy matte medium or um which i have matte medium here and i didn't you know gel medium rather i didn't use it because i know a lot of people don't have it but you can also use that too um but i didn't want to show it because i really wanted to give you guys options that are very attainable um, I know when you don't have money, you know, like I, like I said, you know, Elmer's glue does wonders. It is like, um, it does so much stuff. So this is great. Matte Mod Podge, uh, a glossy Mod Podge works. Glossy accents worked. Um, you saw all that I did. I hope you guys have success. I hope you guys try these and let me know how you make out. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, you could also use clear gesso if you have it. Um, clear gesso would be just as, as good. So, and it would seal it in too. But if you use acrylic paint, you're going to definitely get something that won't move. It won't uh, run if you spray over it or print over it or do whatever. So, you know, that's a definite plus. So I hope this guys help, this helped you guys. And I hope that y'all have a fantastic day. Oh, I just startled my cat. And please be kind to each other because you never know what battles somebody else is fighting. No sense being nasty and mean to somebody just because you're nasty and mean. Here's my water bottle. Or because you're having a bad day. You know, we're all suffering. We're all human. We all got stuff going on in our lives. So be kind. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep leaving me great comments and messages. And keep letting me know what you want to see. And I hope that you guys... Uh, 
let me see what you guys do with this because it's awesome and it's so much fun. And you just got tons of different, I could go on for more hours, but we're, we're not going to torture you that long. So have a great day, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.